Um, how to complete your website prototype pages. Okay, you've got your design completed. You've gone from page to page, turning off all the layers uh, for your first page as you continue on for your second. Um, now, to, before you turn it in, we want you to um, put your layers in groups, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, so make sure your layer folder is open. So um, these have already been put in groups, but I'm just gonna show you um, for the sake of doing it. Um, you have a home page. So what you do is you select every layer that has to do with your home page. Okay, when I select the folder. And then you go to the fly out menu or the hamburger and you go new group and then you create a group. So this is called home. I'm gonna just call it home two because we've already got one. Say okay. And then they're all instantly put in that folder. Okay, so you have a folder created. I want folders for your homepage and your two content pages and your common elements. And that's all you have to create. Okay, so I'm gonna undo this because this file is already complete. Um, next, I wanna show you how to export your assets. Okay, this is helpful when you're working with a developer and you can turn over all your assets at the same time that you turn over your file. So um, they have everything they need to work with. And if they're gonna build other things like um, mobile or something, they have the assets right there. Okay, so how do you do that? You go into your homepage folder and you put an extension on everything that is an image. So you have a bakery image. They made it a ping because there's probably transparency in there. If there's transparency in the image, the extension you want to use is PNG. Okay. Then let's go on the next page. We're going into your second content page. Okay. So they have another PNG. Okay. And now you can use JPEGs or PNGs. Um, you can do it for your vector files also. And then the third one, they, they just use PNGs because they must have used um, some transparency. But you can use the extension JPEG or PNG. Then once they're all done for your whole file, you come over to File, Generate, image assets, and that will create a folder of all your assets for your website prototype. And those are the two things you need to do to complete your PSD file to submit for completion of the website prototype project. Thank you and good luck.